This is a Worcester Bosch Green Star 30 CDI. Came out to do a boiler service and I was getting a drop on the tightness test of around six millibar. Uh, after investigating, found that the gas valve was passing. Um, ordered a new gas valve. Uh, initially got the wrong one. Didn't realise until I spoke to Worcester Bosch that I needed a conversion kit with the gas valve. So I'm back at the house now changing the gas valve for one with the conversion kit. First job, condensate trap out, as you can see, absolutely bunged up. So good job that's coming out and having a clean at the same time. undoing the top nut and the bottom nut of the gas valve prior to this obviously turn the gas off turn the electrics off to the boiler Two little screws under the under the gas valve holding it onto that metal plate. Just getting a long Phillips screwdriver, a bit awkward to get to them. Undo them two screws. found it easier to take the gas valve out first before unconnecting the two electrical connections. Gas valve out. So this is what I got in the box. Got a new gas valve, got a 
new pipe which runs from the top of the gas valve to the, the burner and two different pipes from the isolation valve to the bottom of the gas valve. Only one of those that you need. Yeah, obviously one's for a different model boiler, so one you discard and one you use. You've got your other bits there, all your gubbins and washers and screws and bits and bobs that you should be using. So everything can be changed for new. I'm now just undoing the nut above the isolation valve. As you can see, there's <clears throat> a clamp there that should have had a screw in, but for some reason there wasn't a screw in when I came to the boiler. That was holding the uh, that section of gas pipe down. So quite tricky to get it out, to be honest, but a bit of jiggling about it will come out. And then you've got uh, a new section there to go in. So you put in this new plate on for the gas valve to sit on. Couple of screws to screw it on with. It does it do come with the with the gas valve and with everything else in the box. Get that new plate and you get the screws. So a bit of jiggling and juggling here, trying to get it under that little bracket that we said didn't originally have a screw on. Uh, and that obviously, that nut needs to be on above the isolation valve. So it's a bit tricky, but Bit of wiggling about, you will get there. There you see the nuts in the right place now, ready to be tightened onto that thread. And that is under the bracket and it did, did come with a new little screw for that bracket as well, which was good. So I can tighten that up now. And the gas valve is secure. Just hand tightening that for the minute. And 
new gas valve. Make sure you take them little covers off. Off each end, it's going to sit on that little plate. Couple of screws to hold the gas valve onto the plate. Get rid of that old grommet. Get the new gas pipe with the new rubber grommet on. Grease up the O-ring so it will go in nice and easily. There you go, make sure that grommet forms an air tight seal and then push the O-ring up. And then you've got the little clip. Once your ring's pushed in place, the clip will hold it in place. Schoolboy error there, as you can see, the nut is catching on that plate. So, prior to securing the gas pack down with the clamp, um, make sure you can get that nut up past that metal plate. So I've I've just redone that so I can get the nut there and I've tightened it up. But just be careful of that. So, secured the bottom nut of the gas valve now, tightening the top nut as well, just hand tightening them, everything for now. Electrical connections on the old gas valve were on the back, as you remember, uh, when, I took them, when I took it off. 
on this new conversion there on the front just screwing this section onto the front of the gas valve ready for the two con connect connectors so yeah just check everything that you've done obviously i've not shown it but obviously i've nipped everything up with the spanner tightened everything securely and then the two electrical connectors now can be connected into that front section that, that's just been screwed on with a leak detection sensor as well all the, the, the disturbed joints will need to be checked with the burner running yeah just make sure everything is gas tight you could do a tightness test for that bottom section but you're going to need to check anything above the gas valve with you with your uh, gas probe and with the with the burner running with the boiler running now we've got it on high what have we got here uh, it's not the best picture it's not a million miles off we are looking for what are we looking for we're looking for 9.6 on high we've got 9.7 there we've got 9.6 so that is that is perfect on high uh, I, there was a slight adjustment that I made using that straight flat-headed screwdriver on that on that adjuster on that gas on the on the high adjuster now we're going to check the low minimum this let's see where we are but we're quite far out here we're on eight so we're, we're way out here we should be should be on nine percent co2 so we need to increase the gas on the gas valve using the minimum the minimum like so with the allen key we're turning it clockwise to increase So we want to get it up to 9% CO2. Again, a little bit more. Just twist it a little bit clockwise. Another quarter of a turn. little bit more and the picture quality isn't that great here I can't actually I can't actually read it but yeah we're looking for nine here and then we're gonna yeah I've put the thumbs up so I've obviously got nine there so I'm happy with that and we're gonna we're gonna check high again after we've we've adjusted the minimum so put it back on high Let, let's let's see if it's affected the high
put a hot tap on a little bit Yeah, I've given it a thumbs down. I think we're just out there, but not not by a million miles. I think what's it gone up to nine point seven from nine point six is what we need. So we're we're pretty much there. But I think I'm pretty sure it comes down again in a second. So we're happy with that. Like I say, the high, that is where you adjust it in there. And to lower it, you will turn it clockwise. And then cover back on. Let's have a look what we've got. We'll